morning, namaste. Uh, in the sutra class, we are discussing the yamas and the niyamas. And uh, in our conversation yesterday, there was a lot of focus on the niyama santosha, which means contentment. Uh, one person said, we have an obligation to be content. And we were talking about the way our own presence in the world affects others. Um, someone else mentioned the practice of gratitude, which is a great way towards contentment. Um, and I'd like to note that Sutra 242 says, when contentment is mastered, the supreme uh, happiness is um, attained. So by contentment, we can reach the highest form of happiness. Uh, so this is a very um, timely sutra for me to be thinking about right now because I'm actually not so content. I am dog sitting for my ex-husband's dog who you, uh, he's laying on the floor right now, you can't see him. Um, you know, the situation is not my favorite, but I do realize that the more I resist it, the less pleasant it is. So I've surrendered to it and here he is and I'm hoping for the best and we're going to talk about or uh, think about contentment as we do the practice and um, let's see what our dog friend does or doesn't do. So far so good. Uh, another teaching I recently came across was can we focus on those things that don't need fixing? You're like, what's actually working okay? What's going well? Um, what is fine? And in fact, what's more than fine? What's beautiful and amazing? So as you stand at the back of your mat, let's take a moment to actually look around you and notice what it is in this space, in this time, in this particular moment that doesn't need fixing? Is there anything that's going along just fine? That is a valid place to start a practice of contentment. And here we stand on this beautiful June morning Let's come in to the presence of this practice. Rooting down through the feet, feeling the steadiness of the floor, acknowledging the steadiness of the earth element all around us. Drawing the attention up the body. If you're standing here, there are some things that are working in the body. It's very easy to focus on what hurts or what's not going perfectly, but something's working if you can stand here. So let's be content with the body that we're in at this moment. Feel yourself standing tall without too much effort. Acknowledge the fact that you're breathing, the breath is coming in and out. You have some air to breathe. Let's gently close the lips. Begin to breathe through the nose, observing the breath as it comes in and imagining it moving all the way down the body to the floor, to the bottoms of the feet. Then on your exhale, imagine the breath moving all the way from the bottoms of the feet up to the top of the head. Smooth the breath out, inhale, follow the breath down the whole length of the body to the bottoms of the feet. With the exhale, follow the breath up the whole length of the body to the very top of the head. Take another breath like that, gently slow it, make it smooth. All 
Find a place to fix your gaze. Keeping the gaze fixed softly and steadily on that point. Move into Tadasana. Working on the balance. We'll stay one, then two, then three breaths. Please add whatever pause is comfortable after you finish the inhale and after you finish the exhale. Bring yourself to this present moment and find what's working okay in this moment. With the inhale, we'll take the arms out to the sides and up, lifting the heels up slightly if you like, feeling the chest lift. Keep the gaze steady. We'll stay here and exhale and gently draw the belly in. Relax the shoulders. Stay here and inhale and feel the breath move in and down and expand throughout the whole lungs and ribs. And then with the exhale, we'll come slowly back down. Gaze stay steady the whole time. Let's lift again with the inhale, floating the arms out and up, lifting the heels if you like. Keep the gaze soft and steady. This time we'll stay for two breaths. Gently hug the belly, elongate the exhale. Stay there and inhale. Feel the lifting, opening, spreading quality of the inhale. We'll stay for another breath. And then lower down with the exhale. We're going to take one more repetition, staying up for three breaths. Inhale, raise the arms, feel the chest open, lift the heels a little if you like. Begin the first breath, exhale by hugging the belly, softening the shoulders. Staying there as you inhale, feel yourself gently expanding. And again, stay as you exhale. Let the breath be long and smooth. It's lengthened without being strained. And stay while you inhale. One final breath. Let there be a comfortable pause. We'll come down slowly with the exhale. And relax again in Samastiti. The breath is moving at its own pace. Body standing comfortably, balanced, with just enough effort, no excess tension. You're in this body, it's functioning fairly well right now. You have the breath, you have the mind, your sense organs. When you can find contentment with the way things are right at this moment, you will find that path to the greatest happiness. We're going to move into Uttanasana, the forward bend, and take that same pattern of staying one, then two, then three breaths, adding a comfortable pause after each inhale and exhale, just a second or two. With the inhale, float the arms forward and up, let the palms face each other, keep the chin down and the gaze steady, little pause, and then with the exhale, hug the belly, bend yourself forward. Bend the knees a little if you need to, relax the neck and shoulders, soften into the forward bend, and we'll stay and inhale here. Small pause and exhale. And small pause. And then we're going to pull it up to the top with the arms, framing the ears all the way up to the top. Little pause and then exhale, bring your arms down to the front. And we'll go again to stay for two breaths. Inhale, raise the arms. 
Feel the opening of the chest. Keep the gaze steady. And with the exhale, bend down. Nice and easy into the forward bend. Knees can be soft. Let your head hang heavy. Relax the arms and stay slowly. Breathe in. Feel your back. Pause a little and then breathe out, releasing into gravity, feeling the stretch along the back, the backs of the legs. A little pause and then taking another breath now. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause at the end of the exhale. Then use your inhale to float up to the top. And with the exhale, lower the arms down the front. One more time. Inhale, arms forward and up. Brief pause and exhale, fold down. Release and comfortably into the forward bend where we'll stay for three breaths. Inhale, small pause, and then exhale. Complete exhale, followed by a small pause. Relax the neck and shoulders. Stay for two more breaths like that. When you've completed those two breaths on your own, three breaths total, we'll use the inhale to come to the top. And bring the arms down the front with the exhale. And relax in Samastiti. Let the breath move at its own pace. All of these breaths that come in and out, breathing us throughout the whole length of our life. There is a point to be grateful for. Uh, turn and take a wide stance. Legs comfortably wide. We'll keep the feet parallel to each other here for the twisted triangle. And we will go into the twist. Stay for one, then two, then three breaths on each side. Continue with that comfortable pause. With inhale, we'll float the arms out and up, staying easy in the chest as the breath expands. And then with the exhale, right hand will reach down to the left foot. That, reach, that leaves the left hand reaching up from the ceiling, or it can rest on the mat. And we'll stay for a breath, slowly coming in with the breath, taking a brief pause, and then slowly moving the breath out, feeling the twist along the length of the spine. A little pause. And then rise up to the top with the inhale. We'll go the other way, bringing the left hand down to the right foot or leg, turning the chest. Look up at your right hand, or you can rest the right hand on the back. We'll stay for a breath in. Keep it slow. And a breath out, feeling that twist. And then come to the top with the inhale. Small pause, and then we'll bring the arms down to the sides. We have two more repetitions. Inhale, float the arms wide. Stay easy in the shoulders, opening in the chest. Little pause, then right hand to the left side. Turning the spine, preparing to stay for two breaths. Keep the breath slow without straining it. Introduce that small pause or continue with it. And 
then we'll come to the top with the inhale. And go the other way with exhale, left hand to the right foot, turning the spine, putting in, looking up, slowly breathing in, taking a little pause, and breathing out, and taking a little pause. Do another breath on your own. And lift to the top with inhale. Lower the arms down with exhale, preparing for the final repetition. Inhale, arms out to the sides and up. Lift it and open chest. Exhale, right hand down to the left side. Rotate the spine. Three breaths here. Nice, gentle inhale and pause. And exhale and pause. All went well until the third blessing. Sorry about that. One more breath. Then we use the inhale to float up to the top. And we're going to go the other direction. The left hand down to the right side. Turning the spine. And three breaths. Follow your breath. We're going to go into Ardha Utkatasana. Following the breath in, we'll float the arms forward and up, feeling the breath move all the way down the body. And then with the exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Pause. Take the arms slowly down the front. Now we're going to stay in the Ardha Uttasana in the forward bend. We don't often do that. Um, so if you want to place your hands on your legs instead of going down as low as possible, that's, you can do that. Let's inhale, lift the arms forward and up. Come back. With the exhale, we'll bend down, holding forward into the half squat. And then stay there while you inhale. Take a breath into your back. Stay there while you exhale. Then with the inhale, raise your arms up. Lift to the top. And exhale, lower the arms down. Staffa, come here. I'm going to do that one more time. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. As you exhale, bend the knees. Hold down. We're going to stay in the half squat and stay for three breaths. Stay while you inhale, feel your back expanding. And stay while you exhale, complete the breath out. Again, inhale, see if you can continue to pause. And exhale completely. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Then inhale, rise up to the top. And exhale, lower the arms down the front. Let the breath soften. Fix your gaze. 
relax in the samastiti. Notice the breath moving. Find what's working well. Be content with that. We're going to go into another wide-legged position. So let's take the legs wide again. We'll place the hands on the hips. We're going to take the second version of Virabhadrasana, the warrior or the hero pose, keeping the pelvis steady. We're going to roll the left leg out in the socket so that your knee turns out towards 90 degrees, but your hips Stay steady. Feel both of your feet. Reach down through both feet and lift tall through the crown of the head, allowing the shoulders to be relaxed. And we want to keep the sense of the spine being perpendicular. As you inhale, raise the arms up wide, bend the left knee. Open the arms wide and gently push your left knee back to the small behind you. With the exhale, we're going to turn and move to the left side. And then with the inhale, turn the head back into the center. And lower the arms down with the exhale. Again, inhale, raise the arms wide and bend the left knee. With the exhale, We'll turn and look to the left, keeping your left knee behind you. This time we'll stay and inhale here, allowing the breath to move in and down. And stay while you exhale, pull the belly in and press your knee back slightly. Then with the inhale, turn the head into the center. And as you exhale, bring the arms down and straighten the leg. One more time. Now raise the arms wide, bend the left knee. As you exhale, turn and look to the left, and we'll stay and breathe in. Feel the breath moving in and down and out to the fingertips. And stay and breathe out. Press the belly towards the side, press the knee towards the back wall. Take another breath here. In. And exhale. Inhale, turn the head into the center. And with the exhale, arms down, legs straight. Turn the left leg into parallel and bring the legs back together. Take a moment in Samastiti. I'm going to get the dog, sorry. Talk you through the other side. So let's take the legs wide again and turn the right toes out to the right. As you inhale, we'll take the arms out wide. With the exhale, turn the head to the right side, gently push your right knee towards the wall behind you. And then with the inhale, we'll turn the head back into the center. And with the exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg, keeping the whole front of the body facing forward. Inhale, raise the arms wide, bend the knee. You're gently pushing the knee towards the wall behind you. Stay while you inhale and turn the head to the right. This time we'll stay and take a breath in there. And a breath out. Keep pressing the knee gently towards the wall behind you. And with the inhale, turn the head back into the center. And exhale, lower the arms down. Straighten the leg. We have one more repetition. 
Inhale, arms wide. Bend the right knee. As you exhale, turn and look to the right side. And we'll stay for two breaths. Stay while you inhale. Feel the breath move in and down. And stay while you exhale. Gently push your knee back towards the wall behind you as you hug the bend. One more breath there. Inhale, feeling the breath move in and down. And exhale, pulling the belly in. Gently press the knee towards the wall behind you. Then with the inhale, rotate the head into the center. And as you exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Unrotate the right foot, bring the foot into parallel. And then we'll step back into Sanastiti. And relax the breath. Feeling the breath moving in and out of the body. Pose. This will be a wide leg in counter pose. So take the feet wide and parallel again. Standing on both feet. With inhale, float the arms out wide. And then as you exhale, we're going to fold down, keeping the legs comfortably straight. Place the hands onto the lower back. Relax the neck and shoulders. And stay here with the breath in, feeling the breath move down the spine, expanding the back ribs. And stay while you exhale, relax the neck and shoulders, feel the belly button pulling up towards the uh, spine. And then inhale, arms float out wide, come upright. And with exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. And we'll do that twice more. Inhale, arms float wide. Feel the breath moving in and down and soften the shoulders while you lift the chest. Exhale, bend down. Bringing the hands to the back. Relax the neck and shoulders. Two breaths this time. Stay for a slow inhale. And a slow exhale. Let the heaviness of the head gently pull on the spine. Take another breath slowly in. And slowly out. We lift up with the inhale. And exhale, arms down to the sides. One more repetition for three breaths. Slow the breath down. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale and fold down. Hands comfortably behind you. Let your head hang heavy. Take three slow breaths with a comfortable pause after each phase of each breath at your own count. And when you finish those three breaths, we'll float up to the top. And then slowly bring the arms down to the sides. And step back into Samastiti. Tension into the body. Root the feet down. 
Lift the crown up. Feel the breath moving. Welcome to stand on the knees. If you're praying for a Vajrasana. You may sit down on your heels if that's comfortable or remain standing tall on the knees throughout. If you need more padding under your knees, just hold your mat back. Give yourself a little bit more padding. We're going to be staying down in the forward bend, the child's pose position, progressively longer each time. Breath long and smooth. Inhale, float the arms forward and down. Feel the chest lift. And then as you exhale, bend all the way forward. We want the hands down to the floor. The head resting, it may touch the floor or not. And then stay as we inhale. Breathe in slowly. And slowly exhale. And then we'll float up to the top, lifting the arms and standing up tall on the knees. Open the chest. And then slowly bring the arms down to the front. Again, inhale, float the arms forward and up. Feeling the movement of the breath in the body. And exhale, fold down. Come all the way into a full forward bend and we'll stay two breaths this time. Stay with the breath. This is not a relaxed position. It's a comfortable position, but we're staying in a sthira sukha. It has steadiness, intention to it. When you've completed two breaths there, we'll use an inhale to lift up to the top. And with the exhale, bring the arms down. If you like, sit down on the heels. Final repetition. We'll stay for three breaths. Inhale, lift up and open. Pause and then fold forward with the exhale. So three long, steady breaths. Feeling the way the breath affects the body on the inhale. And then the exhale. Taking a moment to be with that after the inhale. Pause, imagine the breath still coming on. Feel the effect of the inhale. And then after the exhale, same thing. Keep the belly gently hugged in. Feel the effect of the exhale. One more breath here. Then let's lift to the top on inhale. And exhale, bring the arms down. And relax a moment here. Let the breath move naturally. We're going to go to the stomach next. Let's begin with the hands under the forehead and release into the prone position for a moment, letting the breath go. If your toes are cramping, you can take a rolled up uh, towel or a blanket underneath your ankles. Feel the way the movement of the breath affects the contact of the body and the floor. I'm going to move the arms into a bent elbow position for Bhujangasana. So you can have the arms comfortably bent. And we'll turn the head to one side. So your cheek is resting on the floor. Keeping the arms down on the mat. As you inhale, we're going to lift the chest and the head 
Turn the head into the center so you're looking down at the mat. Now let's stay here and exhale. You can gently press the palms down, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. A little pause after that, and then stay as you exhale. I'm sorry, inhale. Drawing the breastbone forward. And then with your exhale, rub lower down. Turn the face the other direction. Relax the shoulders. And then lift again as you inhale. Raise the chest and the head, turning the head into the center so you're looking down into the mat. We'll stay while we exhale. Feel the belly pull towards the spine. Gently press the palms down. Stay while you inhale. Draw the breastbone forward away from the belly button. Stay while you exhale. Again, press the palms down, hug them or pull them gently towards the back pockets. One last inhale here. And then exhale, turn the head the other direction and relax. And we'll go up one more time. Inhale, raise the chest and the head. Three breaths. Begin the breath with this exhale with a support of the belly. And inhale. Draw the sternum forward. And again, we'll exhale. Feel the belly button pulling up, the ribs drawing in towards each other. And inhale, the breastbone forward, the shoulders down the back. One more breath here. And then with the exhale, we'll lower down, turning the head the other direction. And relax. Place the hands under the forehead again. Turn the head into the center. Let the breath move. Relax the feet, the legs, the buttocks, the back and the belly. Relax the control of the ribs. Relax the shoulders. Soften the neck, the face. Feel the breath moving naturally. And move yourself back into a child's pose for a moment to stretch the back. Hands can be under the forehead or stretched out in front of you or down by your sides, wherever they're comfortable. Make sure you have enough space to breathe. You may like to make a fist and then stack the fists up if that frees up your chest a little bit. Now we're going to stand on the knees and do a vinyasa. This will have an up and a down dog in honor of Zappa. We'll stay in the down dog one, then two, then three breaths. The rest of the positions we'll just move through. Keep the breath smooth. Stay with the breath that's happening the movement that's accompanying that breath. Inhale, we'll raise both arms forward and up. Raise the chest, expand the front of the body. Pause for a moment and then bend down with the exhale. Bring the hands all the way down to the floor. We'll inhale and rise up onto hands and knees. And then with the exhale, Tuck the toes and lift up into the downward facing dog. Knees can be bent if you like, especially for this first repetition. Take one breath here. Now on the inhale, we're gonna to move to up dog, or if you prefer, just bring your knees to the floor. We're gonna swing forward, drop the hips, lift the chest. And then with the exhale, go to child's pose. Rounding the hips back towards the heels. And then inhale, stand up tall on the knees. Lift 
open the front of the body, and exhale, lower the arms, and you can sit down on the heels if you like. We'll do it th uh, two more times, gradually staying a little longer in the down dog each time. Inhale, arms float forward and up, feel a stretch in the front of the body. And bring yourself down into the full forward bend with your exhale, hands all the way to the floor. Inhale, lift up onto all fours. You may want to move your hands a little farther forward if that up dog felt a bit crunched. Exhale, we'll push the hips to the ceiling. Coming into downward facing dog. Again, knees can be bent. We'll stay for two breaths. We're going to be sure you're reaching your sit bones towards the ceiling, pushing the floor away with the hands. See if you can find that little pause after the inhale and after the exhale. Now the exhale is going to firm the belly towards the spine and that will help you be supported as you move into up dog as you inhale, open the chest, drop the hips, or just bring the knees to the floor if you like. Exhale, back into child pose. And inhale, stand tall on the knees, lift and open. Exhale, lower the arms. We have one more repetition. Keeping the breath long and smooth, let the movement match the breath. Inhale, raise the arms, open the chest. Exhale and bend all the way down to the floor. Reach the hand, the hand fully forward and then inhale, rise up onto all fours. And exhale, tuck the toes, raise the hips to the ceiling and downward facing dog. And let's stay for three slow breaths. Modify as you need to to get the spine really long, the arms strong, the sit bones lifting up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing the floor away with the hands. After you've had three breaths in the downward facing dog, inhale to upward facing dog, moving yourself forward or coming to all fours, open the chest, exhale, move your hips back to your heels, child pose, and inhale, lift up tall, opening the chest, exhale, lower the arms down the front. Relax the breath. And we're going to come to lie on the back, tucking the knees into the chest. Sorry, the low battery. Mm -hmm. It's not charging. Okay, let's come to lie on the back with the knees into the chest. One hand on each knee, relax the shoulders. Make sure that the back of the neck is comfortable, face relaxed, feet relaxed. And with the exhale, hug the knees in close. Feel the lower back, gently stretch, relax the shoulders. With the inhale, rock the knees out away from the chest. Little pause and then exhale, pull the knees in. Feel the back gently stretching. Try not to tense up the shoulders. Small pause. And inhale, float the knees away from the chest. Again, exhale, gently hug, and pause, and inhale, float the knees out, away, and pause. Please do that three more times on your own.
As you're finished, bring the feet back down to the floor. Relax the arms out comfortably wide. Release the flow of the breath, control of the breath. Let the breath move. We're going to bring the knees into, uh, sorry, no, we're going to leave the feet on the floor for Dvipada Pita. So the uh, knees are bent, feet in line with the sit bones. Feet well planted on the floor, arms relaxed at the sides. If you have a support behind your head, remove it for the pelvic lift here. With the inhale, We'll raise the hips off the ceiling and stretch the arms up and back towards the wall behind. We're going to stay for a breath. So as you exhale, gently connect down through the feet. Feel the backs of the legs and the buttocks working. Stay while you inhale and really feel that expansion, downward movement of the breath. And then with the exhale, lower the arms and bring the hips slowly down. Twice more. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead, lift the hips to the ceiling. Feel the steadiness under the feet. Stay, exhale, nice and strong in the lower body. Stay and inhale. Draw the breath in slowly. Fill the entire rib cage, front, back, and side. Do another breath. Exhale. And inhale. And lower down with the exhale. Hugging the belly and rolling through the lower spine, releasing the arms. One more time. Lifting with the inhale. Taking the arms up and back. Steady in the feet. Exhale slowly. And stay strong in the feet and legs as you inhale. Moving the breath in and down. Two more breaths. Be sure you hug the belly and activate through your feet as you exhale. And breathe in slowly. Take advantage of this position to really expand the thorax. One more breath in place. And we use the exhale to lower down. Relax the breath. And we'll bring the knees into the chest. We're going to take the leg lift where we take the legs wide apart from each other. You can support the legs holding the outer thighs, the inner thighs, or depending on um, <clears throat> how stretched out your hamstrings are, perhaps you can hold the big toe. <clears throat> we'll begin by inhaling and stretching the legs straight up towards the ceiling. Make sure the shoulders stay down and the tailbone stays down. And then with the exhale, the legs will go wide. And again, support the legs however it works for you. I'm going to stay for one breath here. Make sure your exhale comes from your belly, relaxing the shoulders as much as possible. And then with the inhale, stretch the legs back up to the ceiling, bringing the feet close to each other. 
And with the exhale, bend the knees by going to the chest. And we will twice more. Inhale, raise the legs up towards the ceiling. Keep the tailbone down. Exhale, take the legs out wide. Support the legs. We're going to stay for two breaths here. Inhale slowly. Bring the attention all the way to the bottom of the feet. Exhale, feel the belly hug in. Drop the shoulders. Again, inhale. Breathe down the spine, down the legs to the bottoms of the feet. And exhale, hug the belly in and drop the shoulders. With the inhale, we're bringing the feet together, stretching up. And then with the exhale, bend the knees, hugging the knees in towards the chest. Once again, inhale and stretch up. Exhale, take the legs out wide. See if you can get your tailbone down to the mat. We're staying for three breaths. Slowly inhaling. Take a small pause. Completely exhaling. Be sure the belly is hugging, the shoulders are dropping. And pause. Two more breaths. And inhale, reach the legs up. Exhale and bend the knees, hugging them into the chest. Keep them hugged in. Relax the breath. You can hold the knees with the hands or rest your arms on the floor. Do what's comfortable for the shoulders and the back and the hips. Let the breath flow at its own pace for a moment. Put the left foot down and straighten the left leg out. And place your right foot on your left leg um, or do what's comfortable with that left uh, right foot. I can hold on to the, um, well, we'll hold the left, sorry, we'll hold the right knee with the left hand and we're going to go into a twist. So if, as you exhale, let's roll over bringing the right knee towards the floor on the left and turning the face to the right. And then we'll stay here and take a breath in. And stay and take a breath out. And then we're going to roll to the back again. And exhale, twist. Bring the knee, right knee over towards the floor on the left and stay for two breaths this time. Breathe in, let the breath move down the body, pause, and breathe out, pause. Another breath. And then we're going to roll onto the back again. Right foot is on the left thigh or hugged up into the chest, wherever you're comfortable. Last time, three breaths this time, bringing the knee over towards the floor on the left. Turn the face to the right and inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. Do two more breaths there. Keep the breath as long and smooth as you can. There's no strain. And then we'll inhale and roll onto the back and hug both knees into the chest. Relax the breath a moment. And 
Don't worry about the right foot down, straighten the right leg out. And hug the left knee into the chest or put your left foot on your right thigh. Right hand on the left knee. And use an exhale to move into the twist. Bringing your left knee towards the floor on the right and turning the face to the left. And stay and inhale slowly. And exhale completely. And inhale all to the back. Exhale, twist again, bring the left knee towards the floor on the right, turning the face to the left. Two breaths, slow it down. And then inhale, roll to the back. One more time. Exhale, roll over towards the right side. Turn the face to the left. Do three breaths on your own. Include a pause. And then inhale, roll onto the back. And bring both knees into the chest. One hand cupped gently over each knee, shoulders relaxed. Slightly separate the feet and relax each foot. Close your eyes and soften the face. And we'll take six repetitions of Atanasana. Inhale, moving the knees gently away from the chest to open the belly. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And exhale, hug the belly button in. Pull the thighs in gently. Lower back stretching. Pause. And float the knees away with the inhale. Opening the chest, then the belly. Little pause and then exhale to roll the navel in towards the spine as you hug the knees in close and take a slow pause. Inhale and float the knees away. Soften the chest, relax the belly, pause and hug the knees. Drawing the navel in towards the spine, keep the shoulders relaxed. Pause briefly with the breath out. And do three more like that. When you're ready, we're moving in to final relaxation. Stretching out. Relaxing the legs out long. Taking the arms comfortably away from the body. Find a place where the head and neck are comfortable. You can turn the head slowly from side to side if you like. And 
Settle down into a position where the body is well relaxed. Breath is moving on its own. Settling in to the release. Finding contentment with the way that things are right now.
Notice what's fine at this particular moment. very easy to focus on the things that are not right, not going well, or disappoint, or cause us fear or worry. But it's possible also to change the focus and find the thing that is going right and put the attention there. Sutra 242 says, when you find that sense of contentment, when you master that sense of contentment, you will have found unsurpassed happiness. Notice the breath moving into the relaxed body. Slowly begin to Extend your arms overhead and lengthen from fingers to toes. And turn onto your right side. Draw the knees in close to the chest. Feel a gentle stretch of the back. And then sit yourself slowly up. Finding a good, comfortable seat where you can root the sit bones down and lift the spine up. Open the chest and relax the shoulders. Once you've found that comfortable seat, close the eyes. Close the lips, soften the face, and follow the inflow of breath in the nostrils, down the throat, and then Feel your attention move all the way down the spine to the sit bones, to the support that you're sitting on. And then as you exhale, move the breath up and out the other direction, moving upwards from the sit bones, up through the length of the spine. And slowly breathe in this way. Just a few breaths, simply inhale, feeling the path of the breath coming in and down and taking a brief pause there. Feeling the support as you begin your exhale. As the breath moves up and out, relax the shoulders. Keep the face soft. Pause briefly with the breath out. Find that moment of stillness. Take a couple more breaths like that on your own.
And relax the breath. Let me go into a short meditation. I'm going to read you some lines. There's one line of Walt Whitman in particular that I love, that I remember, need to remember when I'm not noticing the um, wonder of life. I remind myself uh, this line comes to me quite frequently. So please listen and then we'll reflect for a moment in silence. This is from the leaves of grass. I believe a leaf of grass is no less than the journey work of the stars. And the pismire, that's the ant, is equally perfect. And a grain of sand and the egg of the wren. And the tree toad is a chef d'oeuvre for the highest. And the running blackberry would adorn the parlors of heaven. And the narrowest hinge in my hand puts to scorn all machinery. And the cow crunching with depressed head surpasses any statue. And a mouse is miracle enough to stagger sextillions of infidels. That's the line I think of. A mouse is miracle enough to stagger sextillions of infidels. So not only are things often going along quite fine, they're actually going along quite miraculously. Through contentment, we have the path to the highest happiness. There's much to be gained by just noticing simply in any particular moment what's going right in that moment. And then, of course, there's always the practice of gratitude, noticing what seems quite ordinary, and realizing the wonder that is involved in each bit of the creation. And slowly open the eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Um, I apologize for the barking dog, but now we have gratitude for the quiet dog. And I hope that you'll find many other little ordinary moments that uh, give you a sense of contentment or gratitude today. Thanks. Namaste.